to be in the Justice Department and to be doing what he did, that is a disgrace. Demoted Department of Justice official Bruce Orr is set to testify before members of the House Oversight and Judiciary Committees later on today. So what are the most pressing issues that need to be addressed during his testimony? Let's ask Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. She's been following the story since it first broke. She joins us live from our nation's capital. So, you know, Sarah, one of the things I want to know is why was this guy who at the Department of Justice was a drug prosecutor That's right. at, at a very high level? Why was he taking all the secret stuff about Russia to the boss? I don't get it. A lot of people don't get this, Steve. Um, he was the number four guy at the DOJ. In 2016, I've heard this from a number of DEA agents and other agents that were working cases with the DOJ at the time. He was basically falling off his job. He wasn't doing his job there. And now they say, well, look, it was because Bruce Orr was so focused on President, you know, on then incoming candidate Trump. And and he was working on that. And President-elect Trump, right. he had spent most of his time dealing with Christopher Steele. Now that all these text messages come out, look, Bruce Orr was in more than 60 times in communication with right. Christopher Steele. And I think some of the biggest questions, one of them is going to be for sure, who authorized you to right. be the back channel after the FBI fired sure. Christopher Steele for leaking to the media? Well, I think we know why the guy who was the drug prosecutor was presenting the stuff to the boss at the FBI, because he was getting it from his wife, who worked for Fusion <laughs> GPS. And now as we fast forward to today, I've, I've heard that what they want to know is, why were you still funneling things from Chris Steele to Robert Mueller's team after Chris Steele had been fired for leaking to the press? Absolutely. So not only was he trying to get Christopher Steele involved in the Mueller investigation, yeah. he was moving information to the FBI. Even more important, Steve, I think, is the information that's recently come out that the DOJ, members of the DOJ, we don't know who yet, were leaking information to the media, then using those media reports to get the FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court warrant, on Carter Page. Right. And, and uh, Mark Meadows, I saw this tweet. He's uh, one of the high-ranking uh, oversight guys in the House. He tweeted out uh, a couple of things. Uh, Bruce Orr's wife, Nellie, worked for the firm hired by the Clinton campaign to write the dossier. Bruce Orr gave the dossier to the FBI, and it goes on. But also, he has revealed that apparently uh, they deposed somebody on Friday of last week, and this FBI official said, yeah, you know, we routinely use press stories, news stories, as evidence when it comes to things like FISA. It's incredible because, first of all, you would expect that the FBI would launch their own investigation. Yeah. This is what happened with the dossier. Here we have an unverified dossier, a salacious dossier, a dossier that has not been proven in more than two years that its own author, Christopher Steele, an ex-British spy, doesn't even believe is actually accurate. He himself testified in the London courts, no, I can't verify the veracity of my own dossier because right. he got it from Russians. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, why is Bruce Orr still there? That's a question that a lot of okay. congressional members have. Uh, well, we don't know, but we I guess we'll know. find out today. I think we probably will. All right. Uh, Sarah Carter, who's been covering this. Sarah, thank you.